everyone. Today I'm going to be painting for you a paint by numbers. This is called Chickadees and Lilacs and i am been painting with watercolor so much I thought I'd dip my feet back into acrylics and see how I liked it again because it was my favorite in high school. So it's interesting to see how the paint by numbers have changed since I was a kid. They used to have these old type of containers that were attached together but now they have um, this round type and they seem to be a lot more sturdy and better plastic and you can undo them you can unhook them and make them single or spread them out in uh, little circles like this so that's really interesting and I'm going to use for the most part the brush they provided but I also might supplement with my own brushes so here I've got my uh, container of water and I have the brush here that they provided. I'm also using my own flat brush here. It's just a cheapy one. So there's not really any expensive brushes involved and some paper towel here. So I also happen to have these old school containers that I'm going to mix the specialized colors in because when you read the instructions, um, it's, it gives you some tips on how to mix the paint and stuff like that and it has a key so that you can see if you've painted over some numbers. And I've decided to um, paint out uh, the colors on the key just as a starting you know to dip my foot into this so the key to the painting is that the numbers are the ones in the colors in the pots there and then the key on the right which are the letters uh, you mix two of the colors in equal measure to get that letter so I'm just gonna mix the colors in my own pots that I have um, and I'm gonna mix them and place them beside the letters, uh, the letter key there. And you can pick up those plastic pots at any art store for super cheap. So I'm just gonna speed this up super fast and uh, roll through this key making process. You can fast forward through it if you like, however it won't be long. But I also wanna just throw in a tip here. I tried um, mixing a couple of the colors um, with just that teeny brush by scooping each color out and putting it in my own plastic container and that just took forever. So you'll see later on I use a technique with that flat brush that I showed you. It's about a half an inch long and what I did eventually um, that I found really worked was just take one scoop of the color, depending on how much you need, one or two scoops, put it into the new container wipe off your brush, clean it off, then go into the, the other color, take exactly the same amount, one and two scoops, one or two scoops, then mix it up with the brush. You'll see me doing that later and it just goes super fast. And then I just labeled on the top of the plastic container um, letter M or letter A or whatever letter it was. Then I could close up those containers and come back to them um, to work with them fresh as I needed to. So here's some video of me doing it the wrong way. I was just mixing enough to fill in this small little area here just by doing a couple of scoops with that small brush and it's just not enough and it's way too inefficient so I only do it here like just once or twice and then I figure out the best way to do it later so learn from my mistake So because I'm an artist, you'll see me blending here like an artist does um, with acrylic paints. I mean, I know how to paint, so I know how to do this. However, with the kitschy look of the paint by numbers, they would just have you have a line and then do a little bit of dry brushing over the edge. So you can certainly do that, but I'm making it look a lot better with sort of um, 
keeping both sides of the paint wet still and mixing them um, in between. You also don't want to mix too much water in, otherwise that will contribute to possible peeling and later on for your painting and it might not um, hold up because if you put too much water in your acrylics, the molecules do not bond together properly and it will peel up or it may not last so you want to think about that. So the paint by numbers paint is actually kind of annoying. It's pretty thin, it dries super fast. It's not like my high quality acrylic paints that I have myself. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating, but I always love a challenge. So that's kind of an interesting part about it. And it did look good in the end. Uh, the colors, the paints are actually very dull. They don't have a lot of shine to them. So you're left with a very, um, you know, matte looking painting, which is actually a look I like, so I don't mind that. But I ended up spraying at the end a nice uh, semi-gloss varnish over my painting that I gave to my mother and it looked really pretty in the end. So, But of course the trade-off with um, the lower quality paints, and they're not that bad, um, is it's really nice to have all the colors all picked out already for you and you don't have to make any decisions so this really is a really nice meditative process because you don't have to make any color decisions and the composition is already drawn out and already chosen so you just get to kick back and relax and fall right into that mindless meditative state that an artist likes to get into and just lose yourself and all you have to concentrate on is filling in the lines and maybe embellishing a bit and also um, just um, concentrating on your mixing and your blending. So it's really nice. I really enjoyed this experience. You know how there's that big uh, adult coloring book um, fad going on right now. Well, it's almost like these paint by numbers are like the artist equivalent of an adult coloring book. <laughs> you just get to mindlessly, uh, you know, forget about all the your perfectionism and all that and just paint. A little dramatic interlude there for you. Okay, here um, I've just shot a little um, footage here of how to mix the paints properly. Not like I was doing before with the stick or the, the little end. See how I just dropped in one scoop and then one more scoop of the other color? See this one, I do two scoops. And so it ends up being exactly the same amount and it's super fast and there you go boom I've mixed my color and then I labeled it on the top that one was letter E and that's how the paint stay fresh in their own little container there
So as you can see, um, more of the painting is done. I have not filmed the whole thing. So there are parts where I just sat back and like watched TV and painted at the same time and didn't film. Um, but I filmed most of it and I found a, a little iPad program that lets me speed it up up to 34 times. So the rest of the video is mostly just going to be sped up and you can watch the speed paint. Um, I think I'm done for giving tips, but I may chime in now and again. And um, I show you how to blend the leaves, um, you know, a little better. And I blended in the chickadees and I embellished the lilacs a lot more than it said to. So you'll see those techniques and I will talk about them a little bit. Okay, for instance, right here, I'm showing you the box. Okay, take a look at the leaves. I'm gonna show you the box again. These are the leaves I did, okay? So you see I just kind of did them my own way. Um, if you do them, here's the way the box shows them. You see how they're very kitschy, very paint by numbers-y, very, uh, you know, distinct lines and not a lot of shading. So that's the way it would look if you followed their instructions to a T. However, I I'm just making my own leaves here and so I'm just about to show you uh, a close-up of how I did the leaves because the leaves I took some artistic license to just do them the way I wanted to do them I did a lot of blending and sometimes I completely uh, on a few of them I completely ignored the numbers altogether and I just um, you know blended my own leaves I just painted it myself so just take a look at uh, my technique here.
so along with the leaves I also used a lot of like artistic liberty doing the birds feathers so I followed the basic colors they said to use um, in the same places but I basically just kept going over and um, just doing little feathers and sprinkling them all over the way I would if I were just to do my own painting so I followed their color suggestions um, but basically painted the birds as I would just paint birds if I were to do the painting myself. Okay, I just signed my painting and here it is finished and as you can see I put little dots I made a whole bunch of little more lavender flowers than were called for and just added a lot more dots which tricks the eye into thinking that there's more detail than there is same thing with the birds I just added more little feathers all over the place and did some more blending more than the paint by numbers had called for Okay, so the very last steps, I'm just um, framing it here for my mother. It's my mother's 72nd birthday, so I just bought this frame from Michaels for $14.99. Like, you don't even have to spend a lot, and it looks so good. And I just put Mom Happy Birthday on the back, and here I'm just inserting the back part in and closing down the flaps. I didn't film this part, but I sprayed it with a clear coat semi-gloss um, sealant before I framed it here and I did a few coats and let it dry 15 minutes in between. Okay, and I just lifted up the frame here and here's what it looks like framed. It just looks really beautiful. My mother was so happy with it. She actually gasped when she opened it. And um, so just a simple white frame with uh, it, just a little bit of a cream colored mat in there goes perfectly with this painting. You can get one yourself and do the same thing. Go to Michael's and this frame was $14.99. So super cheap and really pretty looking. So I'm, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, please comment, uh, give me a like if you like this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.